And so what we're hoping is that there'll be, there'll be social change will be more effective. You know, let's say five, 10 years from now, the dollars that go into the sector actually lead to results that are making the world a better place. For our Be The Change segment this month, we are featuring Charity Navigator, the world's largest and most utilized independent nonprofit evaluator. I've invited the president and CEO of Charity Navigator, Michael Thatcher, on the show today. We're gonna talk about giving intelligently and how the free access to Charity Navigator's tools can help with that process. Welcome to the show, Michael. Delighted to be here, Andy. Thanks so much for doing this. I appreciate it. So let's talk about giving intelligently. What does that mean to you and your organization? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a juxtaposition, right? Because when you think about giving, it's my heart's been called out to go do something. Giving intelligently is basically keeping that and then doing a little bit more with it. And what I like to think about as an analogy is rather than giving, thinking about investing. Right. There's a social problem that's really it's grabbed me by the heart. This this I want to do something about this. I have to do something about it. It affected someone close to me. I want I want to fix this. So that's the that's the motivator. That's the fire that's driving you at that point. Ultimately, you're trying to solve something and you're investing in a in a change of state. So that to me, giving intelligently is about saying, all right. Here's a problem. I want to go fix it. Now, who's the best nonprofit that's fixing that or addressing something about that problem? And what you'll find when you get into this is that you it forces you to get more specific. So if we take something general like cancer, which affects thousands of people, there are a multitude of different cancers. What and there are also different elements of cancer care, cancer prevention research for new uh, solutions around cancer. So what is it that resonates with you the most? And then go deep on that. Do you think by people diving deeper like this, it enhances the, I guess, the, the desire to give? I think it does because the closer you get something like this, the more you actually build a relationship with it. Right. And then you and then you're watching that relationship change. So the again, the idea of no, I give one hundred dollars to something that I care about. I forget about it. I feel good for a little while. Next year, I'll probably give another hundred dollars to the same thing versus maybe I give a little bit less. But I also get involved with the organization. I do some volunteering. I I actually study the problem, learn about it. And, and again, I think this is where sort of websites like Charity Navigator can help you to actually figure out what's the marketplace, how are they doing what they do, and then how can I actually plug in and connect with them? Let's talk about some of the vulnerability that's out there for people who are giving maybe, uh, you know, uh, I guess, going just saying, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna give to this organization because somebody sent me an email and it looks fine. Uh, you know, we, we, you, you talk about charity scams on your website. Talk to us about yeah. this and, and how things could go wrong if we give unintelligently. Sure. I think charity scams are, it's a shame because there, there are about 1.7 million charities in the United States, and that's including universities, um, nonprofit hospitals, uh, churches, mosques, uh, synagogues, etc. And we run an advisory system that actually helps you find out when something May, may have gone wrong or did go wrong based on actually confirmed attorney general um, information. That list has only got about 450 nonprofits listed on it right now. So if you do the math, you know, 450 to 1.7 million, it's a small percentage, but that small percentage really hurts. And where people get scammed is often not by real nonprofits or charities, it's by lookalikes, it's fake charities. So it's a name that sounds similar. It's spelled slightly differently. Um, it could be something that's being run on a crowdfunding campaign that you actually don't know the person. So the challenge with crowdfunding campaigns and giving to individuals is that you're giving to an individual and they can do whatever they want with uh, the money that you give them. Whereas if you give to a nonprofit, they have their, their limits as to what they can do with it. And in general, they're going to do what you ask them to do with it. The last thing I'll say on scams and, you know, you, the scenario you gave is 
I got an email from a friend saying, please support this charity. They're important to me. Look them up on Charity Navigator. And if you want, and this is something, this is sort of a, a hidden secret on the Charity Navigator platform, but our giving basket, which actually helps you facilitate the transaction, it won't let you give to a fake charity, right? So if it's a scam charity or if it's the one thing, it also won't let you give to what are called a 501c4, which are more the lobbying type organizations where you won't get the tax break, right? So we're, there's, a, there's a back-end scan that actually protects folks that we don't really talk about it that much, but it's a great way to just make sure you're giving to something that's real. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a, it's a great resource to go and check. Uh, one, one other thing, and let's talk a little bit about charity navigator right now, how we help with this scam problem, but also how charity navigator helps you to dive deeper into an organization and understand how they utilize the money. That's one of my favorite features. Could you talk about that a little mm -hmm. bit? Sure. And, and actually we're in a really interesting phase right now where we're, we're, we're evolving our rating system to go from, you know, the last 20 years, it's really just been looking at financial measures and capacity metrics, as well as different accountability and transparency elements to now really try to look at the total impact of an organization. So, and, and again, think about investments, right? When you invest, you want to invest in a strong company. You want to invest in a company that's going to be around for a couple of years. You want to be able to trust them and you actually want to know that their product is, is, is good or if it's a service that it's making a difference. And so what we're trying to capture with the Encompass rating system is kind of broken it up into four quadrants. You have impact and results that are achieved by the organization. You have finance and accountability. So we're still giving you a nice snapshot of their finances. We then look at their leadership and the adaptability uh, processes. And then finally, culture and community where we're getting into areas like how do they listen to their constituents and adapt and modify their programs accordingly. Got it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people out there that uh, choose to tithe and give to their church as a way to give back. And obviously that's a, a fantastic thing that's been going on for thousands of years. How does, yeah. can somebody use Charity Navigator to, uh, I guess, look how their church gives or how do they, how do they uh, utilize the service for something like that? Or is that uh, an expanded topic that we should t focus on another time? No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's a great question. It's actually a transparency question. Yeah. But, um, and part of, so Charity Navigator, our origin and, and the, the bulk of where we receive information for conducting ratings comes from the IRS. As a charity, you, your, your books are open, right? They're public information. And so that allows us to, to look at the financials. If you're a house of worship, you don't have to reveal your finances. And so you have, um, you have churches and synagogues and other houses of worship that choose to submit the IRS Form 990. And actually, they want to be transparent to their followers. And then you have many that it's just an added cost. And why bother? That's not, you know, we're not we're not looking for for that. And so it's that creates some interesting it creates some interesting tension points. For example, you have the the Salvation Army as a church, and they're not, they're currently not filing a 990. So, but they're also very active and very busy. You know, they they do a lot in the world, but we don't have a, we we don't give we don't have a rating on the Salvation Army at this point because of the religious status of the organization. Interesting. Yeah, I think that I think transparency as I as I do, do on this show quite a bit, even with our personal financial situation, I think is very helpful for people in making informed decisions. Uh, I know that the church that I attend locally here is very transparent about their finances. They create a booklet for all, us, for all of us to see how they utilize the money, which is something that I really appreciate. So I think it's a good conversation to have today. Can you share some positive results uh, from your organization? You know, you guys have been doing this for quite a while. You're all about transparency. You're all about helping people give intelligently. Can you talk about some positive results from your organization as of late? Sure. And I think one, one of the things that attracted me to Charity Navigator is this whole idea of democratizing philanthropy. So you don't need $5 million, you need $5 perhaps, right? In between, and, and anything in between five, you know, $5 million and $5, we are here to help uh, individuals find good nonprofits to, to make donations to. And in that, 
uh, you know, we're right now, what we've scaled our ratings. We were two years ago, we rated 9,000 organizations. Today, we rate over 185,000 nonprofits. So that's, there's been a step change in, in the number of organizations we're rating, as well as we brought in these other aspects of impact and results and leadership and adaptability. That's not quite at the same numbers, but it's for the first time in our, in our history, we actually have a rating on impact for over a, about, a, about 1,500 nonprofits today. So that's kind of in terms of our what we're making available and, and increasing the choice and information for the donors. I think the other element that has been really helpful, and I mentioned this before, is the giving basket. So our giving basket, we launched it less than five years ago had about $132 million go through it from 216,000 donors to over 43,000 charities. So again, I think these are, you know, they're not huge donations because it's only adding up to $132 million, but that's a lot of donors that are actually having access to tools and they're able to do the giving and we do the reporting for them. So these are some of the things that we're we're excited about we're excited about sort of the progress we've been making in in rating more and rating better. I love that. I love that. So you guys have been at this for a while. Where do you see the organization going over the next five years? What are your hopes and dreams for Charity Navigator? I mean, our we've just been through some strategic planning and we've set this moonshot goal of guiding a trillion dollars of giving. And Ultimately, we're looking to make impactful philanthropy easier or, or giving easier for absolutely everyone. And so what we're hoping is that there'll be there'll be social change will be more effective. You know, let's say five, 10 years from now, the dollars that go into the sector actually lead to results that are making the world a better place. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> I love that. There's no better mission than taking your time, your dollars, your investment to be the change you want to see in the world. And I, I that's why I created this segment. And I, I, I'm so happy to speak with you today. If somebody's listening right now, and they want to support your organization, because you guys are also a 501c3. Is that correct? Do I have that correct? We, 100%. We are a charity and live off of the individual donations. About 80% of our revenue comes from donations of roughly about $75 and, you know, so that's that's kind of where that's how we make our money. So yes, we we would love support. Awesome. Well, well t- yeah. talk to us about that. Let, let's be transparent then. So you said eighty yeah. percent comes from donation. Where does the other twenty percent come from, or how how does that work? So the other the remainder would come. We have um, institutional givers, so mm-hmm. foundations, so that are supporting us, and we also have our board mm-hmm. that supports us, and then we have a small amount of revenue coming from data sales. Got it, got it. Okay. So we, yeah, we, we make our Statistics and inf- sharing the information out there. Okay, got it. Very yep. cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So if somebody's listening right now and they want to support your mission of helping to create intelligent giving around the globe, where should they go and what should they do? Sure. I think the, the simplest is just go to charitynavigator.org. And if you look in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a donate button. Um, and then just follow the... Uh, Follow the instructions from there. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We're on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Charity Nav. On Facebook, it's at Charity Navigator. And then finally, LinkedIn and YouTube, just search on Charity Navigator and you have different ways of finding us and getting the information you need. I love that. I am a follower of these social media platforms. I have used Charity Navigator well, probably for at least the last three to four years as I'm investigating how I want to intelligently give and how my dollars can have the most impact. So we're in a season of giving right now, everybody. If you feel moved by this conversation, not only uh, use this tool to do some intelligent giving, but also give back to Charity Navigator and the mission that they're on, I would appreciate it personally. Thank you so much for your time, Michael, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Andy, thank you, and uh, happy giving season, everyone. Absolutely.